Hello, so here we are going to talk about the correlation coefficient calculation by using this formula. Uh, please note this formula is nothing new, it is just derived from our earlier formula, which was uh, correlation uh, we have earlier calculated in terms of covariance and standard deviation, and our formula was uh, covariance of xy divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y and this was represented in this term which is you know x minus x bar and so on uh, now what we have changed here is uh, is to we have replaced x bar with uh, you know uh, 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 in terms of x so it is x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n right so because it is nothing but the mean so when we do this change and rearrange our equation we get something closer to it so if you want you can try it your own and you should get uh, this formula uh, so the objective here is uh, you know uh, not to discuss about the derivation here we are assuming that you know uh, the formula and the objective here is to put this formula in the spreadsheet and see how we can you know do uh, the calculation faster right this is objective number one the second objective here uh, is to uh, discuss about the inbuilt function of spreadsheet to calculate the correlation coefficient uh, you know and you will see that it takes just seconds uh, when we use the inbuilt function of spreadsheet uh, to calculate the correlation so uh, let's uh, start the discussion and uh, if you can see here uh, the formula says uh, that correlation which is r is equal to summation of xy uh, minus summation of x summation of y divided by m and this whole divided by under root of sigma x square minus sigma x whole square divided by m and this is multiplied by sigma y square minus sigma y whole square divided by n. So don't get confused between these sigmas and all those uh, you know uh, uh, little complex looking things. It's very simple and uh, we will we're just going to do this. Uh, in in the first curve it might take a few minutes, but uh, you know when we move to when you practice it more, you will be able to do it in seconds. Uh, so if you see we have calculated the correlation coefficient earlier uh, so it is this is around 0.94 uh, you know uh, and this is the output that we will be getting uh, and this is how our spreadsheet uh, will look like when we will model this formula so uh, to let's start from you know scratch and let's delete all these values so that you know we have uh, you see it, uh, the complete derivation right from uh, the first step uh, so here we will delete all the values uh, okay so now this looks very similar to what we have seen earlier right uh, uh, this is x values which is uh, you know uh, this is nothing but years of education and this, uh, these are y values uh, nothing but uh, the starting income per month and uh, uh, now what we need uh, let's look at uh, the formula formula says the first thing let's focus on the numerator as of now it says sigma xy now what is sigma xy nothing but the multiplication of x and y values and then summing it for all the observations right so let's uh, multiply x value which is 8 for observation 1 uh, by the y value which is 18 for observation 1 and put enter right so this is for observation 1 now when we need for all the observation we just need to drag this and excel understands and it calculates all the values automatically right so these are the x and y uh, values multiplication and uh, what we are interested in is the summation of this right uh, so what we will do here we'll just put sum and open the bracket and we'll give the range which is x and y multiplication values close the bracket and this is what is our summation of uh, x and y uh, now what what next we need we need sigma x right uh, which is very simple uh, just we will sum this with the, the x values and we'll sum all the x values and uh, another thing that we need is sigma y for that we will sum the y values 
so this is sigma y right so we got all the three things uh, which are required for the numerator this is sigma xy this is sigma x and this is sigma y right uh, now let's see for the denominator the first thing uh, that we need is sigma x square and the second thing that we need is sigma y square right uh, rest of the things are you know are we can derive from the number that we've already calculated so for sigma x square simple right x into x and once we get this for one value one observation we can just drag this and excel understands it and it, uh, you know we get uh, this for all so now we are we need what sigma x square which is what summation of all the x square values right so what we'll do we'll put some here and we'll select the x square range for all the 12 observations and we'll close this so this is our sigma x square now similarly we need uh, sigma y square which is nothing but y multiplied by y right and so we one once we get it for one observation we will just drag it and we get it for all the observations now we are interested in summation of it right which is sigma so what we will do sum and we'll select the range for y square values close the bracket and we get our uh, sigma y square here right so all the things now what we need uh, we have uh, uh, for numerator and denominator let's now start calculating the numerator so if you see the first thing is we'll put equal to sign before you know starting any formula this is very uh, simple thing but uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, please make sure uh, you do that. And now we'll open the bracket. And first thing is sigma xy, right? Sigma xy. So this is g14 minus sigma x sigma y divided by m. So what is sigma x here? Is this this multiplied by sigma y? What is sigma y? This is this. And we close the bracket here first. Closing the bracket is very important, um, uh, uh, you know, because Excel understands the logic uh, the way you open and close the bracket. So it's very important part. Uh, now this has to be divided by n, right? That's what we are looking for. And n is nothing but the number of observations, which is 12. And so we have to close the bracket again here. So if you see uh, this bracket and now here one good thing to note is that uh, the, the color of the bracket uh, which excel sh uh, shows you is basically uh, you know it signifies that you are closing the bracket properly or not so if you notice now if we uh, you know this is one uh, you know set of uh, calculation which is sigma xy divided by n and this is sigma xy right uh, so now we will close this bracket and notice the color here right so it should be black uh, right so it shows that now the overall calculation is written and um, we have to close the bracket and then we have to press the enter button so this is our numerator now for the denominator the most important thing is uh, you know uh, if you look at uh, we have to take the square root right so this big sign square root of uh, this complete thing so the first function that we will put from excel is sqrt now if you notice here it returns the square root of a number right uh, so then we open the bracket now look at here uh, this this area uh, this is for the x uh, you know we need all uh, this calculation in this bracket right and this value in this bracket will get multiplied with this y set of values right so uh, what we will focus we'll just focus right now in getting the this first bracket values which are dependent on x uh, uh, so so let's open a bracket and what we need for sigma x square where is sigma x square it's here right now after that we'll put a minus sign and now we need what we need is sigma x whole square right so please note uh, the difference between these two is this is sigma x square so it's the summation of x square values whereas this is sigma x whole square so this it's first the summation of x values and then the square of it 
So summation of x value is here, right? And we need to square this. So we'll put this here and we will close the bracket. And this need to be divided by number of observations. So number of observations are here. And so we need to close the bracket. Uh, it's very important. Uh, and notice the color always, you know, that's very important thing. Uh, it's important practice to do. Uh, just check the color every time you, uh, you know, put any kind of function. Uh, now, uh, this is our, uh, you know, this uh, bracket, uh, sigma x squared by n. And this is our, uh, you know, uh, sigma x squared. So now, this is first bracket right let's revise this uh, uh, this thing very quickly uh, this is sigma x squared uh, which is d40 and this is sigma x whole square which is summation of x values and then the square of it and this divided by n which is the number of observations so this is for the x uh, this is for the first bracket right uh, which is you are seeing here this first bracket now what is the next thing uh, we have to multiply this with the value that will come from the second bracket. Now for the second bracket, what is the first thing needed? Sigma y square. So sigma y square is here and we will uh, put a minus sign and this need to be uh, subtracted from sigma y whole square, right? So sigma y whole square is this value. So we'll put the square to it. Uh, and so if you see uh, this is a small you know the brackets are very important here and now this whole need to be divided by number of observations so which is 12 in this case again we'll put the bracket okay and this overall this thing will be subtracted from sigma y square which is f14 so we will put another bracket here and so if you see this is the bracket for uh, this y set of values and uh, this is for the x set of values right so now if you have noticed in the start we have uh, taken this uh, you know the first bracket and we need to close it so that the square root comes for the multiplication of these two brackets um, the value the value which will come after multiplying these two brackets together right so this is the formula now uh, when you put enter you will get the denominator right and now correlation is simple once we have got these values uh, this is numerator it has to be di divided by the denominator so this is our correlation value which is 0 0.94360 and if you notice, uh, you know, this is what we got when we uh, did it from the covariance approach. And there's not any rocket science here, you know, uh, because it was, you know, the, we, we, uh, we have just rewritten the formula. We have just rearranged the formula. So the values have to be uh, you know, the same. So this is about, you know, um, calculating the correlation by using uh, this formula. Now, uh, the, the second thing, uh, as we have discussed in the start, um, uh, is to use the Excel, uh, the spreadsheet inbuilt function to calculate the correlation. And you will see that it takes just seconds. Uh, for that, you need to use a function which is C O R R E L. So if you see, once you put C O R, you get the suggestion from Excel. And it, it says that returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets right so c o double r e l open the bracket and what is array one because you know we need to put array one array one is nothing but data set uh, which is our x this is first data set and then put comma and so if you see we have put a comma over here uh, and now give another array which is array 2 which is nothing but y values right and close the bracket once you close the bracket just press enter so this is what you know uh, uh, you, you you get uh, when you put uh, uh, the correlation 
function directly in the spreadsheet and again you know this is the same exactly what we have calculated from all the other approaches this is another uh, now let's discuss another way uh, in uh, by using spreadsheet which is uh, there is a function in excel which is called pearson uh, and it basically returns uh, you know the same correlation coefficient for two areas now array one is x set of values and array two uh, is y right so so this is our uh, another correlation right so if you notice uh, the idea here is to be comfortable in using spreadsheet and uh, you know whether it is about putting the formula or it is about using the inbuilt uh, spreadsheet functions uh, we, we, we should be comfortable right so uh, let's summarize it quickly first you know we have done it through we have done the co correlation calculation by using the covariance and standard deviation of x and y then we have rearranged the formula in this uh, uh, way and then we have done the put this formula in our spreadsheet and we have got the correlation which is this then we have used two inbuilt function of spreadsheet one is c o r r e l it's a abbreviation for correlation and then we have given two data set uh, this one for x and another one is for y and uh, so we got a correlation then we have used uh, Pearson uh, which is another inbuilt function of spreadsheet we have given array 1 array 2 and we got the correlation so you it's up to you whatever uh, you know, need uh, at your end you can use all these four functions to get the correlation values uh, yeah thank you